Uh, I very much enjoyed uh, this event. I'm still enjoying it, by the way, as you can hear maybe from uh, the crowd in the background. Um, it's always um, a very uh, useful uh, experience to exchange thoughts uh, about these topics. I mean, at the strategic level, across uh, different industries, uh, also um, specifically in combination with um, academics. Uh, so I think together that gives a very good mix. Um, as you know, you have the practitioner's view, uh, you have the scientific view, um, and I think that's what um, is required then to make the right decisions. There's much more to do. I think it's key um, in anything we do um, to keep um, the recipient in mind. Um, so social media is about communicating. Um, it's communicating between partners um, at an equal level. Um, so I think that, that's very important to understand if you design um, a strategy, if you design a vision uh, on how to uh, leverage um, social media for business purposes. So it's not a one-way exercise, but it's really more understanding your counterpart um, and then, you know, um, starting to engage at an equal level. Basically, I think social media or any digital um, form of communication is the future uh, requirement of any uh, communication, marketing, uh, business development, uh, research related role. Um, it's, it's, uh, um, it's one element in a, in a tool set that um, one needs to use. So uh, the, re the related skills are, are essential um, for you know, uh, your, your future career. Um, so um, once, you know, um, and more and more people are uh, getting up to speed on how to uh, juggle between these different um, formats of communication and um, over time this will change uh, uh, any of these roles um, and the so-called social media expert uh, or digital um, expert will um, disappear. Um, it will all be part of our uh, required work skills. It was an awesome event, uh, really nice people, uh, cozy and family. Yeah, not a lot of people, but good people. So my takeaway was that I was really surprised that most of the people weren't able to self-define their stage of social media uh, phase they are in, if they are listening or just beginning. So it's pretty hard for them to self-define this, so I see there's lots of work for us. Um, it was a very uh, interesting event. Um, of course, I know the book. Um, we had some interviews uh, for, for the development of the book. And I think it's really a good and, and uh, valuable framework you can use uh, uh, for the business. What I take home is that um, still, like, people, they're the same fundamental questions. They're still there. What is the ro return of investment of social media? Uh, uh, how can we use social media in our business? Um, how does the setup has to be for social media? But I think social media is part of an online journey or a customer journey. I think social media is in the phase from the experimental phase now in a more uh, uh, mature phase and I think this framework will help people to bring their social media initiatives to a more mature level. I think social media will be an integrated part of, of a whole experience, a whole company experience. It starts with the product development, it's the interaction, and I think social as a construct, construct is something a company has to live. And I don't think that we will have dedicated social media teams in the future, but that the company itself has to be social. I like it very much because it's very informative. Uh, I have not realized how the social media 
strategy of companies really engage with the customers with the brand. So that is something very interesting. On a personal note, I would like to see how social media actually applies to our children growing up, how we actually manage our relationship with them on a social media aspect. But if we can apply it to companies, it would be great to apply it on a social level, especially on a family level, which will be cultural as well. Well, I don't know. I guess with I guess it, it, it grows with technology, like but with Google Glass, I don't know if that's going to come, or the iWatch, or things will really change, where people can talk instead of type in social media, that would maybe be the future, I have no idea, but it really depends on technology, I think, social media grows with technology, or grows follows technology about that. Like the event to see, uh, to meet and greet people which I normally just see on Twitter or LinkedIn and other social media channels and also to, to understand uh, what, uh, what is actually the current state of social media in the Swiss corporate world. I definitely like to hear from uh, the University of Applied Sciences of Zurich about how they uh, think about social media. I really liked it. I liked um, it. Yeah, I think I think the event was quite good in the sense that it did bring a lot of good content out in the open. Um, what we wanted to really do is take the focus away from marketing and put social media at a more strategic level for companies. And I think we managed to achieve that with our presentations. it very interesting because the panelists were all people from different perspectives or different backgrounds um, and they were all social media experts in their own right but they come from different angles and it was really interesting to hear the different opinions and different perspectives on social media for business. Um, honestly I think that it would evolve in, into something bigger so it wouldn't be social media anymore but the discussion will be more around digital and um, I really hope that you know companies do start to take heed um, on how they can communicate better with customers and how they can use these social technologies better to interact with customers and really embed it within their business.